Well, good morning, guys. We're back in our 2000 Suburban. And the problem today is the remote control mirror on both sides. And I'm just going to demonstrate that for you now. I've got the key on engine off. And I want you to listen for the um, motor inside the mirror. And, and we'll try and sort out what the diagnosis is. I, 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 it may be a problem with the switch. And I may not want to, in fact, pay for a new switch just based on the age of the car. But I want to take myself at least to a diagnosis. So uh, this is the left mirror, that's the right mirror. And these are the controls, up, down, left, right. So I've got it on the left mirror, and then listen. And you can hear the mirror moving. And right, moving to the left, you can hear it moving there. But if I go to the right, if I go right, no sound, and no sound on down. So it makes a sound on outside and up, but no sound on right or down. We'll switch to the right mirror and listen for the same thing on the right mirror. Do you hear that buzzing sound? So again, I get sound uh, going up and to the left, but no sound on down and to the right. So that's quite suggestive of a switch problem. But let's take this problem a little bit further and just rule out other issues. A good place to start is with a wiring diagram. I got this from Alldata, but if you need a free wiring diagram, you might consider stopping by the bbbindustries.com website. You know, it seems complicated, but if you understand what they were trying to do, you realize it was simple and elegant. By designing the system around reversible motors, they were able to minimize the expense and bulk of extra hardware. So power comes in here with an orange wire. This is 12 volts, and our ground is here. And we've got two banks of motors, the left side and the right side, and notice there are three wires going to each bank. The heart of the system is here with four double pole single throw switches and a left right switch. Now what this does is this, if you want to raise the right hand mirror you press the up switch and power goes in this direction. But if you press the down switch power goes in the opposite direction. Now I'm using a power probe here. Um, you don't need this device, but it makes things a little quicker. If I touch this probe to ground, I get that single. And if I touch it to hot or battery positive, I get that higher pitch signal. I don't think the fuse is bad, but I'm going to check it anyway. Um, the mirror heater fuse is under here. So now I'm going to put the power probe right down on the fuse. So we got um, 12 volts there and 12 volts there, so we know the fuse is good. Now when I can, I'd like to go right to the um, end device to rule out that as a possibility. So I'm just going to pry this clip off and get to my connections on the end device. And here's my electrical connector here. Okay, now I've uh, isolated the wires that go just to the mirror and it's disconnected from the rest of the body. And uh, normally I like to just back probe, but I can't get a back probe into the common wire, the yellow one there. And so I've carefully front probed it with a real small probe. And uh, I've probed the green. That should be give me vertical control. I'm going to hook up my ground to the one wire and power to the other and watch the mirror and see if it moves and it moves up. Now I'm going to reverse the polarity. I'll hook up my ground to the other side and power to this side and watch to see if the mirror moves down. And it moved down. So my mirror is functioning correctly and so we know that the wiring from here on is good. Okay, now let's have a look at the switch here. Now to get this off, what you do is um, you pry it up that way and then lift. And it comes off of these tabs. Here's one here and one here. And I've disconnected the connector to the switch that we're concerned with. And the one that we think is bad is this black one right here. The orange uh, wire leading into that is power. And I've got that back probe. And you can nicely hear that. I'm getting power to there. And now I've probed the black wire, which should be ground, and I'm getting a brown tone. So I'm getting the right power and ground to the switch. Okay, let me show you how I got this off. 
Um, there are two Torx screws holding this in on this end. Once this end is up, you pry it up, and then there's a little plastic tab on the back. You pry that off, and then all of a sudden this comes off. So there are a couple of plastic tabs here and here, and then two more there and there. And so I'm going to put the camera down and slip this screwdriver in. And okay, now here's the switch, and um, there are two more clips, one right there and one there, and then on the other side, one there and one there. I'm going to push those in and try and slide the middle part of this out. Alright, so when you get those two apart, this is what you come up with. This is the top of the switch and the bottom. And you can see right here there's some metal contacts, a row of three, and they skid on the, the row of three here. So this comes off like that. These contact points are fine, there's been no issue there. The problem has been these button posts. Um, now let's take this rubber piece off. You can see all that dust there. And there's a little light right here, a little centering post, and each of these are the switches. Now the bad switches were the ones inferiorly and on the right hand side. So I'm going to start with a little bit of soapy water. So this is a little wet dry sandpaper. I'm just scouring the surface of the contacts. Now I'm going to use this electrical contact cleaner. And I'm going to just put it on with a Q-tip. And this is the part that the connections are made in. So I'm going to carefully clean this, these connections off too. So I didn't put it all together just because I wanted to make sure it was going to work here for me. I've got it hooked up again, and let's see how the mirror moves. Move to the left. Moves left. No movement to the right. Up and down. So up and down are repaired now, and left works, but not right. Okay, I've done the emery th cloth thing again with more electrical contact cleaner. The contacts that are involved are this one and this one. And uh, this one and this one. And just to make sure I'm not missing anything, I'm going to do these contacts in the back here as well. Now the tricky thing about putting this back together again is these little metal tangs here. And you notice the angle that they're at. There are little plastic dividers between each one, so don't get them mixed up. So I put it back together again a second time, and again, I've got the same problem. Okay, one additional test, just to prove that my wiring is okay. I'm going to see if I can move that right mirror horizontally. I've got a jumper on the yellow wire and a jumper on the red and white wire. I've got ground and the mirror moves and so I know my wiring is fine. Okay now uh, ideally you want those metal clips to be on this side and then you just push them in. Well I'm afraid it's only a partial success. I was able to um, restore the down function on cleaning contacts and so this video may be helpful for you in that regard and, and it may be helpful in terms of proving that the switch is a faulty device. Uh, there weren't any problems with the wiring elsewhere. But uh, that said, I'm now faced with the dilemma as to whether I'm willing to pay for a switch, which apparently is in the range of $75. I may be able to find a junkyard part for cheaper than that, uh, but for now I'm going to adjust the right lateral part of the mirrors manually, with the point being that this is an old car, I don't plan to sell it, and we'll just uh, put up with manual adjustment just like in cars of the old days. Say, so, uh, if this video helped you out and you'd like to see more of them, hit like or subscribe or leave a comment. I'd love to hear what others say. Thanks for watching.